morning, you guys, and welcome to a new vlog. Um, this one. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> we are camping for the weekend. I'm um, celebrating our anniversary, and today is actually our anniversary. Yes. Right. Happy anniversary, honey. Happy anniversary. So, um, this is what it looks like. This is what 17 years looks like. <laughs> this one's having his coffee on the couch. I like to sit here, which is the, you know, it's the table. And um, <laughs> we're watching some TV, having some coffee. I'm um, just kind of chilling. We're hanging out in the camper. So it's only quarter to eight. Yeah, we were in bed by nine. I was up. I just I was so tired. I could keep my eyes open. I slept till twenty after six. He stayed in bed a little longer, but I don't think you fell back to sleep after that. No. Uh, but we got some good sleep. I would say. Um, yeah. So we're going to have some French toast. I'm going to make us some French toast for breakfast and some sausage. And we're going to just kind of slowly get ready and head on up to see what we see today in Door County. Yeah. Got to get some more apples for you. There's a few places we'd like, we want to set for sure. And I kind of want to look for a few sort of decor things, maybe for the bathroom or there's a couple of fall things I'm looking for. And that's about it. Badgers, but <laughs> look at that face. Badgers play at 11, um, but we probably won't be able to find a place. We don't think really to, to it'll be, it's going to be busy. The Sister Bay, which is one of the cities up here, up here, has their fall fest, festival, fest, fall, I don't know which, but at, at any rate, it's going to be busy as I'll get out there. So yeah, um, that's what we're doing. We're just going to hang out. We went out for dinner last night to Sunday's, which is a uh, Pizza, an Italian place um, in Surgeon Bay that we like a lot. We go up there almost every time. We go there almost every time we're here, and we have a lot of leftovers from that. So we may actually just come back here because we'll be out and about most of the day. We may just come back here and eat that. We may go out to eat. We don't know. The world is our pickle, yeah. as Laura would say. So I decided to do a quick check-in, and we will take you along throughout the day and show you what we see. Any wise words? Nothing. I have nothing. How'd you get so lucky as to have me with you for 17 years? I got nothing. <laughs> I don't know what I did. Oh, boy. It's some kind of magic. <clears throat> some kind of magic indeed. I've got the magic <laughs> in me. <laughs> All right, so we will check in with you guys in a little bit. I thought I would, get it. I would show you guys the camp site that we're in. We, are, we don't have anything out of the camper because we're not really camping per se. So anyway, this is a little bit tighter than we'd like, huh honey? Yeah. Um, but you can kind of see where that side is over there. Like right, exactly. Because we're not really camping, but I mean, we're really close to the next camper. But it's beautiful here. I mean, the leaves are gorgeous. It's a beautiful day. It's supposed to be what, mid 50s today? Yep. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. Just like you, honey. Thanks. <laughs> so anyway, we are headed out. I don't know that I'm going to necessarily need this jacket, but um, when the wind picks up, she's pretty chilly. So I thought I'd rather have it than not. All right. You're off.
are, um, what time is it? 8.30. We've been up. <laughs> we had an interesting evening. <clears throat> I'll vlog more about that later. Um, well, not, the, the gas tank went out, and so Bob had to get up at, like, 1 in the morning and go out and unhook the one gas tank, hook up to the other gas tank, so we continued to have heat throughout the night. <laughs> and I had really weird dreams about somebody taking our camper, and I, I anyway, I think I had maybe four hours of sleep. It was, it was a rough night. Normally, I don't have that kind of problem when we're camping, but anyway, so what's happening right now is that we are winterizing the camper. We're going to do it ourselves this year. Last year, we had somebody help. We found a really great video online that was um, exactly our camper, and um, like the same year, model, style, like everything exactly the same. And there was a guy at a dealership like walking through the owner how to winterize it. And the owner videotaped it and put it up online. And I thought that was awesome. I need to actually go back and leave him a comment to let him know. So Bob already had, he already kind of knew it from guys that he had talked to. And so it was just helpful to watch it and see it. So he's doing kind of the stuff out there. And then when it comes to the antifreeze, then I'm going to help with stuff in here. So we're, we didn't, we didn't even unpack to have packed. It was a different kind of camping trip. We didn't have, you know, chairs all over and food outside and that sort of thing. So um, there wasn't really much to do to pack up aside from pull the sheets off the bed, pull the towels out. And I have to, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to pull the towels out of the camper for the winter and just keep them on a tote inside. Or I think... I'm leaning towards just putting them in a tote and keeping them in here over the winter and then um, just when he brings the camper home wash the wash them all and put them back in so I haven't decided but so that's what's going on that is what's currently happening here <laughs> so I'm just hanging out because there's nothing that I can do right this second waiting for Bob to tell me the next thing to do so that's what's going on um, we had such a nice day yesterday we came back um, we got back here about 4.30, and we just kind of ate, you know, I had a piece of his pizza that was left over, um, he had some cheese and sausage, like, we just weren't really hungry because we ate lunch so late, uh, and we just kind of chilled out, watched a little TV, I watched a movie called The Family on, here with Robert De Niro in it, it was pretty good, actually, it had the chick that played Quinn Fabray on Glee, she was in it, anyway, it was pretty good, and Michelle Pfeiffer, um, so we watched that because it just happened to be on TV and just chit-chatted about stuff and reconnected and it was good. Uh, <clears throat> it was good. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's, that's what we did last night. And then like we went to bed by like 9, 9.30, something like that. We watched um, some of the Michigan State, Ohio State game. Or was it Michigan? No, yeah, it was Michigan State. Right? Michigan. I don't remember. No, it was not Michigan State. It was Michigan um, and Ohio State. Watch a little bit of that. Nope, not Ohio State. Ugh, seriously, you guys. I'm only one cup of coffee in. It was Penn State. I literally had to pause and think. It was Penn State at Michigan State. At any rate, that's what we did last night. And yeah, so now we just had some coffee this morning. We both had an apple cider donut from Woods, which is delightful. I was going to make cheesy eggs, and he, he like, egg, you know, scrambled eggs with cheese in them. And we were going to have toast or whatever. And he's, he's like, yeah, I'm not really that hungry. So we just had a donut, and now we're packing up and doing this. And we might be home in time for kickoff. We'll see. Not our goal, though. Um, if we have to listen to some of it on the road, that's fine, too. But all right, that's what's going on. Just so I would do a quick check-in. And we'll see you on the other side. Y'all. It's 9.36. That basically took us an hour. Yep. Hour and 15 minutes. We are a power couple. <laughs> right. Yep. Um, well, we just saved ourselves 100 bucks. We did. We're pretty proud of ourselves. Yep. Bob gave me a high five and everything. Yep. I can winterize a camper. Well, I can do the inside part of it. He did all the outside part of it. But it was pretty slick. It was pretty easy. Yep. And like I said, that video that we found, I think that was really helpful. Yep. If anybody has that kind of camper, I'll, I will link the video below for you that I'm talking about in case anybody's curious. Um, but I thought it was really nice that they, that they put that up there. I'll just see if they have one on like unwinterizing it. What's that called? If you winter desanitizing. Desanitizing. Um, but we have some warranty work that we need to have done, so we'll probably have them desanitize it and get it ready for the season while they're doing the warranty work. Anywho, so we are headed back. Now it's a dreary day today. 
Yesterday was beautiful. I guess we can't have two in a row, huh? Well, Thursday was pretty too. Or I mean Friday. On the way up here, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty short. It was a little windy. A little windy. Yeah, but sunny. Yep. So yeah. It's one of the one of the many roadside places. So yeah, we are I'll give you a little little color over there. We are headed back. Um, and we should be unhooked and unpacking and be able to watch most of the game. Yep. How about them apples? Pretty proud of ourselves. And we didn't really get up early, we just didn't sleep really well. Yeah, I don't know why. Neither one of us. Well, I was, once I once I knew that the furnace wasn't kicking in anymore, yep. I was 90% sure it was just that the gas was out, but I was very aware of the fact that it wasn't kicking in, and then when it did kick back in, then I was aware of that, and anyway, it's fine. Maybe I'll nap after the Packer game. Maybe. What do you think the chances of that are? 50-50 at best? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, all right, um, I'm going to go and we will check in with you guys later. Any wise words before I, I let you go? Yes, I can't. In case you want, by the way, somebody asked me once, I think it was the last time I was vlogging when we were playing the camper, if Bob was in a bad mood or something. And no, this is not Bob in a bad mood. This is Bob concentrating, pulling a 7,000 pound? Yep. 7,000 pound camper. So I'm not trying to distract him. Just, you know, he's got to focus, folks. He has to focus. Yep, still look like this. <laughs> it's four o'clock. Um, so here's what's happened today. We have unpacked the camper, did all the laundry, put all the stuff back in the camper, which is what I decided to do. Um, I unpacked a couple of the things that, well, I unpacked everything, but I wanted to show you a couple of the things that I got in Door County. I got that fun pitcher and that fill too, actually, I found there. And then I was looking for something like this. I'm holding laundry in my arm case running, and I apologize that it's, there. I'm going to try to block the sun. But I wanted something to kind of, you know, make those at different levels. And I love what I found. And I can totally use these. What's genius about these is that I have them flipped over, but you can also use them with something in them. So, I'm excited about those. Pretty happy, oops. Pretty happy with that find. So that's how that ended up looking. Um, we got some olive oil from the oilery, which is my favorite place to get. We got garlic oil, olive oil from there. It's actually like an Italian market, so sort of for canned goods and jarred goods and stuff. Anyway, got that, and I think that's all we got in our travels, aside from apples and stuff. So I just went ahead and finished what I was doing there. The battery's about to die, so I'm going to plug this in. But I finished laundry. That's all put away. I mixed up a double batch of cutout cookies because I want to get those done and I'm going to run to the store and then I'm come home and take a shower. But I'll check back in when the batteries. Good morning. It is Monday morning. Um, it's quite dreary today, I must say. Um, I'm trying to think if this vlog is going to be up before. I'm going to save these. I have some shirts. I, hmm. I'm trying to think. You know what? I'm just going to wait. Um, to put this up until after. So, I want to show you guys these. My dad's honor flight, I talked to you guys about that, is Wednesday, so day after tomorrow. And I worked with um, this very, very sweet owner of Feather Nest Boutique. And I worked with her on having just some shirts made, some simple, it just, we, we just wanted something simple, but um, that we can all be wearing, as many of us that can be there anyway, um, when my dad's plane lands. For his on a flight so this is what we had put on here this is my my dad was a raider in second class that's his last name and then bravo zulu means um in like military speak it means job well done so um we had those made so the shirts are all here i'm gonna stick them i don't want to wash them i'm sure they will be fine i'm 100 percent sure they'll be fine because i've purchased other shirts from her and they're just fine but i just don't want anything to go wrong so I am going to take them all and stick them in um, the dryer on like the refresh setting or whatever to kind of get out any of the wrinkles. I'm going to do that a little bit later and then I'm going to hang them all up uh, so that I have those ready and I have my sizes here. So I thought I would share that with you guys. Um, <laughs> you know, the day, just because, yes, these pants are still a little bit big. 
Like, I have to hike them up all the time. But in some spots, they fit just... <laughs> I'm just laughing. Wait, I can't even show you until I, until I pull them up. Because otherwise, they hang down. <laughs> Let's just hike up my pants together, shall we? Okay. They don't look so bad when they're hiked up. <laughs> like, so that they're not falling down anyway. I'm wearing my plaid pants. For those of you that haven't been around as long as the rest of you, these pants are a little bit big for me. They're not as big as they were last year because, keeping it real, I put some weight on between last year and now. Um, I didn't put on all that I lost, but I did put some back on. It's just, you know, it's okay. It's a lifelong journey. So, uh, and then the sweater I got at, I think I got a J.C. Penny. It's like a Liz Claiborne a couple years back. I like it. it has the real kind of fun, you know, whatever kind of sleeve that's called. Uh, and then these shoes I've had forever. But I, it was mostly about showing you guys the pants. And anyway, I'm doing some work. And the reason I'm all dressed up is that I have a funeral to go to today. It's for a gal from church. I didn't know her very well. They've only been members for a couple years. And they're pretty much in Arizona most of the year. Unfortunately, and they were in choir, which is how I kind of know them. Um, and she passed away from a stroke. A, like complications from a stroke. So the service is today, and they asked anybody that um, is in choir, even though I'm not currently in choir, I'm still, you know, in choir. Uh, they asked to come and, you know, kind of help lead some hymns and things, just kind of to honor her. So I'm going to do that. That's at 11, and it's about quarter after 10 right now. So I'm going to leave at about 20 till, something like that, and meet my mom and dad. Um, Bob is on vacation today because we were originally going to camp through um, today. But he is out just doing all kinds of things. He's getting the bolt winterized. Um, yesterday he, well, and by the way, I apologize that I kind of like disappeared, never came back yesterday. Just the way it goes sometimes. Uh, I did, I ran to the store, came home, did a bunch of things. So uh, he mowed the lawn yesterday, sucked up all the leaves and have them down there. We have a, there's a city like leaf sucker that comes and picks them up once a week. So he did that because after today, or after yesterday really, the, look at you guys. As I say that, the wind is blowing them. Oh, at least it's going away from the, I just watched the wind come and blow, blow those leaves all down, all down the road. Uh, it's supposed to be get cold and not warm up again, is what they're telling us. The yesterday was so nice. It was 55 degrees and just lovely and sunny. Hardly any wind at all. It was great. Oh, I see my mom's turned over again. I'm going to go, go flip that over. But, yeah, apparently this is the, yesterday was the last nice day. So we, we shall see. Um, I have some other things I want to show you guys, but I'll do that probably a little bit later. And I did this morning, I got up early and baked all the cookies, cut out and baked cookies. So I did a little leaf. I found a little leaf cookie cut out and Door County, and then it's circles. And uh, I'll show you guys. I think I'm gonna do leaf colored frosting. I haven't quite decided. We'll see what time I actually get to it today because I have a bunch of calls this afternoon. I may just do white with the different toppings. But I found these at Charlie's. These are little like, there's like ghosts. I don't know what the yellow things are supposed to be. But anyway, these are more kind of Halloween-y, and these are just more fall, like fall jimmies. So I am going to use those. And yeah, I'm actually, how am I going to apply? I literally was about to say apply. How am I going to apply those? I need to see if I can empty out a shaker and just use, use the shaker. But So that's what's going on. Um, it's kind of a weird, weird day. I did obviously did some work made the cookies, got myself ready, and I, I tend, I'm tr I try to take lunch from 11 to 12 if I can. It kind of messes up my day, my like eating schedule, <laughs> but uh, because that's when, that's when they do, they, my office is in the East Coast, so everybody's there is on lunch from noon to one, which is 11 to 12 here, so Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Today it will because I'll be at the funeral, but I haven't eaten anything yet today. So by the time I get home, I'll be starving. But I have a conference call at 1. I have another one at 2. I think I have another one at 3. 
So, you know, never a dull minute. All right, I just thought I would check in with you guys. And apparently, Wipe Connor while I'm talking to you. <laughs> I'll check in with you guys this afternoon. All right. It's 5.20, and I just thought I would show you guys. When I was done with work, I started frosting. I did my best to make fall colors. <laughs> so this is supposed to be kind of a mustard yellow. This was going to be a brick autumn red, and it just looks whatever. It's fine. And then um, that's kind of a better shot of what that color looks. It's kind of like a reddy brown, which is kind of autumn. It's fine. And then a nice bright kind of orange. And then I had like little bit left so I just frosted three of the round cookies and then these I just did the circles like I said with um, white frosting and then can you see the cute little there's little ghosts in there and I don't even know what the little yellow thing is but so there you go all done and now tonight for dinner we're having some leftovers um, we actually there's enough of my pasta for my dinner when we went out on Friday for us both to eat. I ate about four bites and I was full because I had the salad beforehand and some garlic bread and yeah. So it's just, there's a lot in here. So that is what we are going to have for dinner tonight. Um, and yeah, then we're just going to chill out and ready to sit down since I've been standing for quite a while now. So that's all I have for you. Not much. Putting the cast iron pan over. Bob went on to Stogie. Or he's back in now. Hi, <laughs> kid here. Um, yeah, so we're just going to have some dinner and enjoy the... Mm -hmm.